Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my 100% completion and collectibles guide for the planet of Zepho from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. If you haven't watched my video for Bogano, then here's a recap of the trophies we're going for with this series of videos. Each planet will have its own video and they will be linked below in the description when they're all done. There's going to be a full commentary in this video, I'll walk you through everything I'm doing. There are certain instances that things might need explaining, especially for a galaxy far, far away trophy. You'll see me just randomly wander into areas for that. Most importantly, I'll just mention that I'm doing this after finishing the story and I suggest you do the same. There are a lot of areas that can't be reached until you have certain powers or abilities like double jump. The way this guide is going to play out is that I'm going to clear each region out one at a time, going around the map in roughly the same way you would the first time you came to the planet. There are timestamps below for the start of each region along with a list of what you can expect to find there. Okay, this is going to be a long journey, so let's get this started. Okay, so naturally we're going to start at Derelict Hangar. This is where the ship lands, and we're going to get chest number 17, BD1 Skin Blue Leader. It's just off, as you uh, get off the ship, it's just off to the left in this ha little hangar here. Uh, if you see the numbers, chest 17 is because I'm directly carrying on from the, ver the first video on Pagano. So from there, turn around and go into the main hangar now for chest 18, which is Poncho Material Bravo. You'll see there, there's a bounty hunter ahead of me, but now he's gone. Uh, you'll see that quite often in this video. I seem to get hounded by bounty, hun bounty hunters everywhere I went. But there we go, there's chest number 18, Poncho Material Bravo. So we're going to be turning around and we're going to be going the long way around, the way you would go at the beginning of the story. You see BD1 jumped on my shoulder there, he was trying to scan something. That was one of the scans that isn't needed for the trophy, so I I am missing them, but I'll kind of point them out like I did there if I if I notice them. So we're going to be going the long way around, we'll go with left here, ignore these guys ripping that stormtrooper apart. Up here, and then try and ignore these ones, but I think one tags me as I run past. But we're going into the cave here on the right hand side. Yep, god I hate those things, they're so annoying. Yep, just rip it in half, get rid of it. There we go. So jump over these two and into the dark. So you can use your lightsaber as a light source, just hold L1 and you'll lift it up. Off to the left hand side here, this is going to be another force echo, number 16, hiding. Again, the Force Echoes are obviously carrying on for the first video. I was going to do them individually for each video, but then because the seeds, there was only 10 throughout the story, or the whole the whole game, it was just easier to, to combine them all into one long one. So next we have Stim Canister 3, which is also a secret. Uh, secret number 7, so it's uh, secret 1 for this area, obviously. But that's just up here. All the way around. This is a big loop basically. Once you get up to the top here, you can see it there, the yellow. You open that up and then you can drop back down and leave the cave. Good catch, so here we are. This is really gonna help BD1 with another stim. This definitely would have helped me out on my playthrough <laughs> had I not intentionally missed all these. But this is a clean playthrough. I've basically just done all of the story and gone through the story path and not deviated at all. So all the areas I go to with regards to 100% in the map um, you'll be able to do the same because I've not deviated so everywhere I go is a, you'll get 100% as well if you follow me. And I will point out little locations you'll need to go to um, to make sure you get that 100% there's a few that you can miss quite easily and it can be annoying if you're trying to look for them. So we're going to carry on. This is the story path. You've got the shortcut door to the left here that goes back to the outside. And they're gone. Uh, hook round here to the left hand side. Jump up this little um, shelf, <laughs> I suppose. There we go. Up there. There's chest number 19. That's another emitter. I think that is it for derelict hangar. So that'll be 100% in this area. Yep, everything's ticked off. So we're moving, it, moving on to the abandoned village, so it's just around the corner from where we were. And the first one we're going to be getting is a Force Echo. So you need to stop that with your Force, you'll know that obviously, because we're doing that with the story. Uh, just cut him in half a little bit. 
and then him. If I, I was going to cut all the fights out, but if it was just a short one like that, I have kept them in just to keep the flow going, really. So there we go, there's Force Echo number 17. And next is Force Echo number 18. So this is at the back end of this area now, so this is the front. We've got to run right to the back, where the commander is, I think, with a bridge. There's a bridge in the commander. Just up here at the top. There's him, there's BD trying to scan something else again. Again, it's not needed for a trophy, so I don't get it. Quickly try and care, take care of them. Come on. I do like those animations. Right, and it's just off to the left-hand side now, so if you face that bridge and hook round to the left, you'll find it on the floor here at the end. I believe there's another scan on one of these doors for BD1 as well. I think I'll look at it as I walk past yeah here. But again, not needed. So continue on and we'll be getting chest number twenty. Or worse. And that's just here, over this gap. And to the right hand side. But I have to take care of these stormtroopers first because if they shoot you while you're in the animation it will stop. So there we go. And then it's um, onto another chest, I believe. Yep. It's just following the path round. He did this with the story. Same path. So we'll jump up to this area and then across the yellow silo, I suppose it is. I'm not sure. Power thing. Jump over here. Onto here. And then off to the right hand side. There you go. There we go. That's 21. Lightsaber sleeve. Duty and resolve. There's just one more chest in this area, and it's past these guys here. Try and take care of those quickly. No, maybe not. Oh no, that was bad. You know, having a bad day, one of the one of those guys may manage to get a melee hit on you. So we'll get him. I do like. For oh no, I didn't. I thought I'd force push him there, but I didn't. So yeah, it's just around here, and it is one that needs slicing. So you will need that at the very least, but again, you should be doing this after the story and once you have everything, because a lot later on it's going to get um, a lot more complicated with the manoeuvres, double jumping, etc. So that's it for there. Turbine facility next. So it's uh, encrypted log number six. So you'll notice um, encrypted log was n the at the end of the last video. It was number four. I've added the story ones in, and I'll do that at the end of this video as well. So the number will jump up between videos. It'll just be the story ones I'm adding for each area. So this one is it's probably quite missable, this one. Because it doesn't really glow or anything. But it's this box over here. You could quite easily miss that. Because BD doesn't even get off your shoulder. You're excited. So that is... And then there's a shortcut behind us, I believe. But we're not going that way. We're going to be going back the story way. Again, I think the lights are off in here if you haven't done the story. It'll be all dark, but you can just use your lightsaber. So, around here. And then you'd walk over this pipe and go right, but this time we're going to be going left and jumping over there. That'd be chest 23, lightsaber material, copper. And that is it for the turbine facility. It's a nice short one. Um, and next we are moving on to I can't remember Gusty Bluffs so this is an even shorter one there's just one chest here so this is at the end of the previous area just turn the lights on with that switch on the right and then we'll move on again all story path at the moment it's quite linear this section a bit of force pushing here <laughs> it's always fun to push them off the edge Come on, these little nests are driving me insane. Sometimes they don't appear at all and you're like an idiot running back and forth trying to coax them out. There we go. And we're going over these fans here. So slow these down. Double slow down. And then off. Take care of this ram around this corner.
I do have this on the easiest difficulty, by the way, if you wonder why everything's dying so quickly. There's another bounty hunter. There are so many. I've, I've just found so many doing this. But again, I'm not going to fight him. We're just going to carry on. Yeah, easiest difficulty just to make things easier so I can move quickly through the levels. So again, we're going to slow down these fans, these turbines. Um, and then onto this one that doesn't move. And then the next one that does move. You can see there's a checkpoint up there, meditation point. That's where we're heading. Normally you'd just jump down. We need to try and get up there. And I stopped this a bit too high. I don't know why I did that. But if you want to time it, you can look down like that. And you'll be able to time it better. So time it as it comes up. Jump across. And then there's another scan for BD. But again, not trophy related. So I'm not getting it. And this is a, a bit more of a, a bit more difficult, this turbine. Because it's straight onto another another moving one, which we've not done yet. But easy enough, really. Because you can infinitely use the slowdown on the same ones. Just to keep them still all the time. Jump over here. Use your lightsaber, see where you're going. And then we're gonna get a this isn't a chest at all, it's a force echo. And then that's also got a maximum life. So mine's at maximum now because I got three of three, but that'll be different for you. A life essence, and that's also a secret. So I'm just gonna show this a little bit here. This is I put this down as hidden area, but it's not, it's just a way out, and you have to make sure you do this. Um, to get the 100% in the area. So once we leave here, we just go back to that checkpoint, that meditation point, and continue on to a weathered monument. So I'm literally just starting there at the meditation point that we were just on before. We've just been there. I'm going to drop down to the normal path now and continue round for another force echo. This is where things start spreading out a bit, it becomes less linear. So we'll just take care of them with a bit of magic. That's the shortcut from before that you can open up. Slide down here. And then we're going to be going back on ourselves essentially. Across here. And then turn around and then shoot up here for the wall run. Jump over here. This one's probably quite easily easily missed because you wouldn't look back at this point. You do these two wall runs, you just continue on. But if you turn around, there's one up there. And this is Force Echo number 20, hideout. Where are you? We can't wait for you any longer. And from there, you can go either way, really. It's as broad as it is long, I suppose. And we're going to be going to get chest number 24. So I'd avoid the ice because I don't like the slid, the slidey bits in this game. They just don't handle very well. It's horrible, in fact. But we'll just continue the normal path now. Get rid of these little... I can't remember what these are called. The little rat things. And then the, the chest is actually going to be on the left up here. I just gotta take care of these guys first. It's where he's just come from there, through that door. So you do need slice, and this is where you get slice as well. Once you have force force push, you're able to get slice. It's in the bigger door on the left hand side, just above us there. So once they're all down, BD will jump off, slice this door open. And there we have it. Chest number twenty four. Eventually. Couldn't really see it. There we go. Couldn't see the prompt on that one. And straight away we're going to be turning round and getting Force Echo 21. And that's in that moving fan there, which you can slow down with R1. But be aware that there is a... I can't forget. Skag? Scrag or something? I forget. Anyway. Force Echo 21. Just on the floor. Nice and easy. 
Uh, the next area we're going to go on going in is to get another chest. It's going to be the area where you get the slice ability for BD1. So this area here, so you'd force push this door open if you hadn't been here before. I'm going to be awake, making our way to the top of this area. Now I could have cut all of these things out. There was another bounty hunter there, but we missed him for now. So that's where you'd get the slice ability there. I could have cut all these bits out, but I think it was important because this is a 100% video as well. We need, you need to be able to see where exactly where I'm going. Because I definitely get 100% in each area. So, uh, And like I said, I've not deviated from the story path before this. I've just done the story. So up here, and then we're going to get to the moving, the, this bit, the hammer bit, I forget what it's called. But you slow it down, then jump up to the left rather than going straight on. Quite an easy one, this one. And then after that, we're going getting another chest, and it's a new paint job for the Mantis. Off you go. <laughs> Never gets old. So slide down here, and this will join us back up to where we would normally be going. Again, story path. Go left up here. There's the minigun guy, or mini laser, I suppose. Over these three pipes, or whatever they are. Yeah, that didn't go so well for you, did it? So there's a few. Uh, there's three in quick succession now. We have a. You'd go up that rope there in a minute. There's the chest here, which needs slicing open. BD's going to help us with that. And then that purple flower right next to this chest is one of the seeds that we need. One of the terrarium seeds. So let BD scan that. And we'll get Royal Fluzz. And now we're going to continue on. That rope I just looked at, we're going to be going up there. And up we go. And instead of going left as you normally would, we will go right and get another chest, and that is Weathered Monument 100% clear. So from here, continue on left as you would normally, climb up and then slide back down, and you'll end up where I am here. So I've slid back down, gone up there, slid down this ice, and then we're back at the shortcut, and we're going to continue on into the Auger Pulverizers. So this is the shortcut, that's the area we just were. I'm going to go up here. Usually there'll be a rocket guy there, but taking care of him first because they annoy me. And then again, another dark area, so use your lightsaber to see where you're going. There's a scan there on the left, that console. But it isn't needed, so we're going to skip it. And then there's two guys here, and <laughs> something quite funny here I actually happens here, so I push them off. But apparently, stormtroopers, or they're not stormtroopers, I can't remember they were called. Shock troopers? No. Anyway, they don't like ice, and they just die instantly. So I don't know what that's all about, but anyway. And then you turn around, the, and the chest is behind us. And it's lightsaber switch, duty, and resolve. So from there, we're going to carry on to the augers and then this first auger will slow this down jump up and then onto the second one in and into the cave as you normally would and then you will see the chest directly ahead of me there that's where we're going to be going we're going to go into this auger so once it hits follow it in and slow it down probably slowed it down a bit too early then but there we go and that's 29 So we need to find our way back out now. So we're going to continue on to the other, past the other one and then jump on the last one. So this is a, a secret area now that we're going to. We're going to be jumping over these flappy things. Slow this one down as it kicks out there at the back, and then slow the one next. Slow it again down if you need to. Just keep them slow. Keep hitting them with R1 if you have to, and jump over here. You get Force Echo 22, which is also life essence and a secret. These workers 
lack proper leadership and motivation, which you cannot provide. Unfortunately, now though, we're going to have to go back through the original area because you can't go the other way. I have tried it, but unfortunately, those little flappy, whatever they are, are in the way. You can't get up. So go back this way. Slowed it down a bit late there, but never mind. And then there's just the one more chest in this area. You quite easily get this one. It's, it's just left of where you have to go. So you probably have this one already. You just take care of these guys quickly. Get deflection. Deflect. Come on. There we go. And then I always like to force push these commanders off cliffs because they're just a pain trying to fight them. And there you can see on the left hand side there. Nice and simple. For another mantis paint job. Go on, get in there. Have fun in there. So that's Augapul Verizers 100% all ticked off. Next we are going to the ancient catacombs or catacombs, however you want to say it. But that's exactly where we just were. We're just going to continue on. Do a bit of uh, swinging and sliding. I always find using just the left stick is best for sliding. It doesn't respond. The, the camera doesn't matter. You, the slide is all from the left stick. So anyway. We'll make it down here. And then there's a wall run directly ahead of us here. And then we will go up. And normally you would just carry on straight. But instead... We're going to turn around, and there's another wall run there, which will take us to Force Echo 23. This is a waste of time. What is crazy and now we'll continue on to get another paint job. So over these wall runs here. And then if I remember rightly, everything gets very dark. So we'll be using the lightsaber again here. And there's uh, those little things. Skaz? Skraz? Something like that. I'll get there eventually by the end of the video. I've got an hour and a half. So we'll get there. And there we go. Yeah. And then you'll see this area here with the fans. If the first time you go here, the fan isn't on. But once you come back here, it will be on. And then you jump up and get the chest. And that is it. That's it for ancient catacombs or catacombs. Next we're going on to windswept ruins. And I'll just tell you here quickly that they, the ice cave is off to the left now. There's three entrances to ice cave, the area ice cave. You will see the entrance here in a moment. There, that, that blue wall there. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to pick that up right at the end. There's three entrances to it. There's one here in the Windswept Ruins, there's one at the Crash Site, and then there's one at the Imperial Dig Site. But we're going to wait until the Dig Site and then go after that. So this first Force Echo here, is you would need, usually need to push that area open, but I've already done it. There's quite, quite a lot here actually in this small area, I think there's about five things we need to get. So from there turn around and there's a chest directly under this next area here. And then from the chest, yep, there you go. come on, there yeah, you come. We'll go directly above where we are to get another chest. So we're going to use that steam vent to jump up, and then this one to jump up again, and then you can see the chest there. I tell a lie, there's not five, there's four. Because we're going to just turn around and we're going to jump on that central plinth now. And that is going to give us a terrarium seed number four, Gillypod. That bit there, directly ahead of me. You probably don't need to use, well you definitely don't need to use the vent. But I did. There you see that orange flower there. Just let BD scan it and you're away. So now from the windswept ruins, we're obviously going to do the, to the tomb of Isle Ram. That br ignore that trophy there. That's just a delayed trophy. I had to kill some more, um, some more bounty hunters, and I obviously hit him with each type of lightsaber, without even noticing. 
So that's what that's for. So just ignore that. So this is the entrance. This is the, the second entrance to the Tomb of Alram. The normal one is off to the left hand side. But if, once we complete this place, this opens up here. So I'll get rid of the lift there so we don't have to watch that. So, yeah, there's the, the solution. And there's the other entrance which you can use to get out later on. But we're going to take the normal way in. Just because it's easier. You can go different ways. It's all a big circle, this area. But just for the sake of ease, so you know where I'm going. And so I can make a nice loop, in fact. I'm going to go this way first. So you will recognise this. Again, you should be doing this after the story. It's going to be easier. Now, this is going to be one of those areas as well. Down here. While I kill these scrazzes, I'll tell you about it. There is one of these areas here. I think I mark it as hidden area in a moment, where you need to step into it for the hundred percent for the uh, the hollow map. I will point it out in a minute. But there's a few different locations like this, so you need to set this ball off. So just you just need to hit this one, and it will go all the way around, and it will smash the wall over here, which will give us access to Force Echo Twenty Five. Here it comes, and smash. Now you can set the ball off again, but we're not going to be using the wind to get it into the middle. Normally you would, but because we're super powered Jedi now, we have both for, um, push and pull. We're just going to push the ball and pull the ball into the central area here. So that area there that I just sort of look at with the, the bars on doesn't smash weirdly that area there that doesn't smash but we need to go in there and it opens up once you open this secret area up so we're going to grab the ball slow it down and push it into the middle here try to but fighting against wind it's probably easier if you turned all the wind off try and get it in the middle there and it'll all open up and that area will open up as well you need to step in here for the hundred percent if you are missing some 100%, that's probably what it is. So in here is the uh, Force Echo, which is also a Force Essence and a Secret. So once we get that, we'll just continue on. And then we're going to be doing the story path. You would go here, you would get attacked by these Scrazzes or whatever they are. Cut them all in half if you want. I shouldn't be messing with these, but they just annoy me that much. I have to kill them. So this is where you would normally come up and then you'd have the swinging ball on top, but obviously I've used them all to open this whole area up. So you can just exit this area. This is the main puzzle. You need to kill this guardian, but you can take care of them really quickly now. Once you're all powered up, shouldn't be a problem at all and then jump up here and you will find encrypted log number seven oh, I've put it seven on this video but there are I think there's a story one on the way down to here on the lift so don't worry about that it'll all tally up if you watch all of the videos so I'm gonna pull that ball out of here that's obviously part of the puzzle solution I will drop that lift down, pull it back into it, and it will take us up to get chest number 34. Which is another lovely skin called Balm Grass for BD1. Directly after that is Force Echo 27, just up in this vase here. Why can't they all be that close together? Anyway, we're sliding down here. Then we're going to run straight across to the other side of the meditation point to find a wall we can force push. And do a bit of wall running to get to that top. You've probably seen it. Another force echo that we're going to. Long way round. I'm going to take the long way and grab this rope and swing up to it there in the middle. You've probably seen it but didn't know how to get to it. That is how. 
obviously double jump there but you don't need to you can just jump further away but double jump you do need it later on for other things deliberately destroyed you can still feel the hate of the act so next up is another chest we're gonna be going up this one is quite far away you need to go all the way up here and then up onto the next one and this is the way out as well. If you just carry on there, the lift is ahead of us. Up onto here. Some more sliding, unfortunately. Normally you just wall run across, but we're not going to do that. We're going to turn around. And there's a few more ropes. Three ropes in total, I think. We're going to jump across to them. And you can see the, uh, the chest there in the distance. There's also a BD1 scan point here. But I'm not going to do it because it's not trophy related, but just to let you know, that's where it is. Just drop on there, because that was a weird visual glitch there, I don't know what was going on. So unfortunately we're going to have to swing all the way back again. So yeah, I think I do scan this one, yeah. So there's the scan there. It's not needed. Well, we're a third of the way through the video. Only another hour left. <laughs> Across we go. We're gonna. I've put this down as hidden area. I'll show you in momentarily why I put that. It's not a secret area or anything. It's just an area you need to hit for the hundred percent. So this again is the story pathway, and you probably already have this. It's, it opens up a meditation point. But you do need to open this area up to get that 100%. And it's to do with um, force push. You definitely need it here. So you'll see this. Uh, I forget what these things are called. There's one here. There would usually be a wall here. So you'd force push it into there. And find the meditation. So na next on to another force echo now. And another secret which is also a force essence. If I believe rightly, we're going to go and take another uh, Tomb Guardian on as well. Yes, he's just around the corner here. So it's similar to what we've just done. We're going to be force pushing one of those uh, explosive plants into a wall. You can see it there on the left-hand side. Just take this Guardian out quickly. Not as quickly as I'd hoped. He's got no health left. How is he still going? There we go. So turn around. Here we go. Force push and boom. That's a bit more force essence. The crafted this okay. As an offering to the wind. This destroyed intentionally so we're going to head back now to the big puzzle area. So that was a secret as well. Uh, embarrassingly I missed the jump there. That's why there was that little weird glitch. Because I cut it out. Because that's embarrassing. But then I told you anyway. So here there's a wall here on the right, you can see you can push that down or pull it from the other side, but you need to go this way to get the 100% on the map, so you have to come this way. So you might as well do it anyway, but there is the, the there is a chest and a, um, a force echo in the area behind the wall. But if you are going for the map trophy, you have to go that way as well. So you push this primitive speaker <laughs> into here and then both up here and that's going to be it for the tomb of Alram so after this go back to the main area and jump up as high as you can to get back onto the lift and that will be there and we'll meet you back in the windswept ruins <laughs> got there there we go windswept ruins so next we're heading to imperial headquarters so I'm going to start off at the top of the lift. I've just cut all that bit out. But we're going to be going... This is the area that opens up the second time you come to this planet. So in theory, you can sort of see where all these other ones are the first time you come here, but you won't be able to reach them all. Again, this is why I say do it after the story, so you can just go around and do everything at once.
So we get back up to this meditation point, and then instead of going back, we'll go the way the story would take us now that we're able to. All the um, steam vents would open up at this point. We're able to force push our way, grab and push. Annoying little droid. Slide all the way to the end. So this is the the longer extended version of before. Jump down into this area where all the stormtroopers are. Been here before, and we're just going to run up here and then hook round to the left at the top once we emerge from this cave, and we'll find Force Echo number 31. Here we go. Right, we're going to head into the Imperial headquarters now, and there's going to be a, fire, a fight, but I'm not going to cut this one out. Um, it's because you can get a trophy here quite easily. I don't get it here. I've got it somewhere else. But anywhere there's sort of droids are probably the best to use. You can... Uh, so I'll try and grab the droid. So if you grab the droid here and then throw it at one of these stormtroopers, it will die and the stormtrooper will more than likely die and you'll get the bank shot trophy. Because the droid does technically count as a uh, an enemy. So if you throw it into him, it will... They'll both die and you'll get that trophy or achievement, whichever you are, platform you're on. Anyway, back to the start of this area where we came in. Uh, if you go to the right, you just slice this door open. I already have done it here. And then there's a, a meditation point and a force echo. Do not concern yourself with the missing artifact. I'll deal with it personally. So after that is chest number 37. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Come make your mind up. But it, yes, up the lift. This chest is quite annoying and you could probably do it later on, but for the sake of completing an area at a time, I have left it in. But we're going to have to run all the way to the top of the Mictral tomb, where you would leave that tomb, the second tomb you go to. Annoyingly, this the Imperial Headquarters extends all the way out to there, and there's a chest right in the corner, so you can leave it until we um, we will be going this way again later on. But I've cut it out the, the second time. Um, you can leave it until then, or you can come now and get it, whichever one you want to do. But I'll show you where it is this time, and it'll be cut next time. So you can see there in the background all the vines, that is the top of the lift area for the tomb of Mictral. So you'd come this way, the opposite way, this is the way you would come join the story. But we're going against the grain now. Well, run, run, run. And it's not even on this side, it's all the way around the other side. I don't think they could have put it anywhere worse. <laughs> But yeah, this is the uh, the lift or elevator, if you will. And there's the chest. Right, so yeah, you can get that. We will be coming back this way later on, so you can leave it if you want. So run back to where this is the the Imperial Headquarters again. I've, I've cut it out. And we're going to run back the normal way now. All the way back to where we were, essentially. To uh, and then we're gonna go to this fan. I'm gonna slow this one down. And it's, uh, up you go. There you go. Instead of going right, we go left up here, and we can pull this ramp down now, or this uh, platform. Climb up, turn around, and we're gonna have to do a jump stop, a jump R1 to stop this fan. Or you can uh, hold R1 if you have that ability and slow it for longer, whichever. Jump down, um, get this chest. Oh, you found something. After that is another force echo called secret, but it's not a secret. Don't get them confused, it's just called secret, this one. And it's behind that force field. Yeah, that got me, annoyingly, so I'm going to take care of him. And that got me. Wow. There we go. So a wall run across here. This is uh, where you would normally come, and then normally you wouldn't come this way because you wouldn't have force pull at this point. So you grab that rope, 
and jump across to get the Force Echo. And then BD will um, open him up. There he is. You can press down on the D-pad and he'll open up the Force Field. But you don't need to now. Either way, we need to go back that way. Uh, so that's Imperial Headquarters done. We're in exactly the same place. I'm just showing on the map where we're going next. It's going to be Crash Site. This is a big area. I think there's 12 things to get down here. Lots of swimming. Yay! So yeah, as you'll recognise this, we'll jump down here. Past the meditation point. And one of the best scenes in the game, if you look up. That is really looks good. Probably doesn't look so good on the video, but when you're playing it does. Jump off and then dive straight down. And just underneath where you were is chest number 39. So I'll continue back now. I'm going to come out of the water so you can see where we are going. But it, the chest is still in the water. It's a poncho material fjord. Which I thought was a type of lake. I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, go to this here. The edge of the, the metallic structure. And you can just dive down a little bit. And the chest is there. Next we'll be getting another Force Echo, which is also a uh, Life Essence. And it's behind this crashed um, ship here. Jump up this rope and there's some more Augers up here, which you can slow down. Oh, you have to turn them on first. I forgot about that. Turn them on first, but you can see it there. You need them on because um, you won't be able to get the height to jump up otherwise. But the timing is pretty tight. Not the timing, sorry. The, the gap here especially is pretty tight. So I'm going to slow it down. Jump up and get the force echo there. So this is obviously is all, uh, another secret as well. These ones are always secrets. Zephonian skull. Killed in some kind of disaster long and then we'll just try and jump down without getting squished I suppose and we're going to go in back the same way we came oh nearly <laughs> there's another oh no he wasn't going sorry he was going back to try and turn the power off again I was going to say there's another thing but there isn't another scan anyway hook all the way around to the right and down again into the water Underneath the uh, the metal thing is another chest. Weirdly, they still have the animation of the, the crate rocking, yet BD-1's not even in the crate. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, Terrarium Seed number 5. Something a bit different from a chest or a force echo. And it is just as you get out of the water here. I'm going around. There's loads of those little scaz things there. I'm trying to go around and avoid them. That little orange or yellow flower there is your terrarium seed. Next is another chest, and it's um, basically opposite to the second one we got in the water. There it is. And then we're going to go take some goats on next. So this is the back of the area now. See the goats there. Luckily, when you're overpowered, you can just slice these guys up. But you saw the chest there. Just get rid of them because they do hurt even on lower difficulty. This one's he's slicing open. And of course, you're going to have that by now, so that's not a problem. That's how it's done. That's another skin for BD1. Swoop. Straight after that, we're going to go and jump in the water again. Which is there. And straight down, and you can see the crate there. It's a bit dark, obviously, all these areas. The water's all dark, but the crates do glow, so you will be able to see where they are. And then we're going to swim back up so you know where I am. But we're going to be going all the way around. We've basically just done a big circle of this area. 
So I will just point something out for the 100% as well, the map, the hollow map. I will mention it again later on, I'll bring the map up. But this platform here on the right, I don't jump on it, but make sure you do. Because you need to for the 100%, otherwise it won't show up on your map. So if you're missing one part, that's it. So anyway, dive down and get another chest down here. Watch the animation where BD disappears but doesn't. And I believe that is it for underwater. Thank goodness. Yep, we're going to jump up here. Climb up this area. We're going to go come back here in a minute for a new area for Broken Wing. Firstly, we're going to jump and run to get that chest over there. And we're going to just quickly pick up two Force Echoes and that's going to finish this area off. It's going to finish Crash Site off entirely. So there's quite a lot here, but it's quite a small area, really. It's just a big circle. You don't have to go a lot different area, different um, corridors and things. So it's not too bad this one. So this is basically the start and you can see the force echo there and then inside the cave behind us which is the other entrance or a, another entrance to Ice Cave but we are not going there yet just go in here this is still cr counts as crash site so we're just going to pick this one up and going down here will definitely tick off the uh, the hollow map for that trophy so I'll bring the map up now and just show you here this is where we are so the platform that we there that one there is the one you definitely if it's missing off the map and that might be missing as well so if you don't have a hundred percent or it's all not ticked off that's what is missing but we'll be going into that orange loop shortly but firstly we're going to go into broken wing as this is a closed off area so it'll bring us back on ourselves so starting here you'll recognize that from a minute ago you're just going to jump up here and you can see this slicing is it slicing? no it's an overpower and it'll bring that force field down oh there we go and this in here is another one of the um, legendary creatures you're going to see him in a minute how quickly you can take him out on easy as well but there's only three I believe there are only three things in here uh, a chest and two force echoes but it's quite a long area this is a secret area as well I suppose you wouldn't normally come here but there is a I forget his name it's gonna come up in a minute I'm trying to get the uh, the drop on him but I'm not getting the square there yet yeah, just get it so yeah, quickly take him down, no problem. Oh, <laughs> so much so he just flies in the air. The rapid jo rabid Jotas, that's the one. So take care of him, and then you can force push or pull this. Weirdly, I pushed it and it pulled it. I don't know why. But this is the, the broken wing area now. There's lots of those exploding things. And there's lots of those uh, scas, grazes, whatever they are. So you can use the the bulbs to blow up, kill the scrazzes. You need to step off this to push it. You can't push it when it's when you're on it. But jump down into this control room. Take out. Try and take the scrazzes or whatever they're called with the the bulbs. It makes things easy. Things easier. And then weirdly, um, BD1 needs to get off and overpower this, but he just wouldn't get off my shoulder. So I'm trying to run around and get the prompt to show up, but it doesn't. So I think if I just run over here and show him the door, this is where we need to go, BD. Come on. We need to open this up. And then now he jumps off my shoulder. So once he does that, overpower that and go through the door. We haven't even got the first collectible or chest yet. We're almost near the end of this area. Yeah, don't do that. And then again, don't do it again <laughs> it's called learning from your mistakes anyway this first bit where you would normally jump up uh, and shimmy across but we're going to jump down into this water and that's going to give us chest 47 
and then we're going to come straight back out the water. You have to go the back on yourself, you can't just jump out the water in this game. So there is, a, I believe there was there a scan down there as well. I believe there is a scan down there, but again it's not needed for the trophy so I am skipping it. But we're going to continue on. Bit of force pushing. And there's a droid here on the left. Make sure you take care of him. Like magic. Uh, no, I thought it is it out. I didn't. Oh, it must have been. Oh, cut him in half. Yeah, that's why I left it in. Because <laughs> it's always good to see one of those cut in half. So we need to turn this. You get BD to, o to overpower this uh, bit here. And it turns that wheel. You need to angle it just so. And the power needs to be off, otherwise you will die if you jump in the water when it's electrocuted. Electrocuted. Up here, and then we'll get a four second number 37. And now we need to jump across to the other side. Cut the power cables, that you can see there. And that will allow us to cross the water when it's all electrified, or it won't be electrified anymore. So we can get BD to turn the power on, and then we can go straight into the lift across the way. And that is essentially the end of this area. There's going to be the Force Echo, which is also a Force Essence, and Secret Number 14. But as you can see, we're right at the start here, where the fan is, where the, the Jotaz was. So we need to get him to overpower that. And then you can leave, and you're going to need to slow down this fan. Like so. Try and do it a bit earlier to give yourself more time. Luckily I have double jump and make it. But I'll just show you this. We're going to go out the same way we came. Um, kind of. Again, I've noted this down as hidden area. Again, there's another um, bounty hunter waiting for me down. They're just everywhere. On my practice save file, there aren't any anywhere. But on this one, there just seems to be anywhere. But I've put left this in. Make sure you go this way so you get the 100% on the map as well. And this will just bring you out back into the um, crash site. So again, from crash site, we're going to move on to the Venator Wreckage. This is a really secret area. So much so that it has its own trophy for going through this area called Visiting Alderaan Places. I just got that. <laughs> um, so yeah, you definitely need double jump to get in here. So you're going to have to come back here once you have this for sure. So it's that exhaust port up there. Nope, no droid. I thought there was a droid. Anyway, that's where I got the bank shot trophy. They used the droids to clatter them against each other. So more ice skating down here, unfortunately. But this is a cool area, we're inside of a ship, so this is this is a really good area. And it's completely optional and secret. But there's a lot of stuff in here. Or it feels like there's a lot of stuff. I think right at the end, there's most of the stuff is right at the end. There's a lot of it is uh, a lot of platforming to get through the area, and then you're sort of rewarded as you get to the end, rather than being lots of things along the way. Having said that, we will be getting something in a moment, which will be chest 48, which is a lightsaber switch. Again, there's a scan, not needed, but get it if you wish. Some clone troopers there. So that you will jump up here and then carry on straight, but this time we're going to go back into the water and carry on round and this is where the chest is, it's in this hidden area here not that it is a secret area or anything, it's just hidden away from view weirdly most of the the secrets, the uh, the chests and the, the force um, echoes that we find all have stormtroopers around them dead like that, it's, it's weird anyway, we're gonna go back and we're gonna start doing the uncharted Nathan Drake style Climbing and platforming now. Force Echo 39, the Padawan, is actually just up here. It's very close, and then I think there isn't anything for a while. 
But there's more of these scrazzies. I'll get the name eventually. You probably notice I haven't scanned any of the enemies in this save file either. That is going to be another trophy video later on. I'm going to show you the best location for each enemy post game in case you've missed any. But there we go, that's another Force Echo. And then, yeah, another Force Echo, but it's quite a ways from now. I try and be clever up here and show you another place to get bank shot because there's a droid and then there's one over here but the other droid shoots me just before I throw it so it doesn't work but you can get it there as well so yeah this is very reminiscent of uh, Uncharted but who's to complain this is a freaking amazing game so whoever, is, as many games as this game has borrowed from, it just works. So yeah, we're just going to edit these enemies out. Because I don't like those purple ones and they take forever. Because they're so good at blocking. So yeah, this is the, not story path, but this is the way out, as it were. Make sure you get all these shortcuts as well. Just to make sure you get the 100% on the map. And in case you fall off and into the water, it's going to help you... Uh, so you need to stop that fan like that, that turbine. You can just go to the right here and continue on, but we're not going to do that because we're going getting a force echo. Which is going to be just to the left where that fan is spinning. Let's just get rid of these guys. He jumped into my lightsaber then, that was quite funny. So yeah, slow this down. And as you can see here, the more troopers just strewn around. I don't think it's the last time either. Coming up on the half an hour mark, half an hour left mark, nearly there. The, the areas we have left are quite large areas, we've got the ice caves left and then we've got the last tomb as well. So you need to come this way obviously for the 100% as well, but this is opening up the shortcut. There's another one of these guys, he's one of the, which ones he's, the, uh, I can't remember that weapon type now. Anyway, let's just get rid of these guys with the magic of editing. There we go. Still carrying on uh, to get Force Echo 41, which is um, a secret. It's going to involve some swinging and some double jumping. But then you can't get into this area without double jump, so... That's not going to be a problem. So we'll go right to the top now. Make sure to get that shortcut as well because if you drop off here, you're going to land in the water. It's not going to bring you back. So you're going to have to uh, go all the way. And that goes right down to the uh, the meditation point at the start, so it's going to help. So yeah, there was a rope. I didn't look up, but I knew it was there. I should have looked up so you could see it. But there is a rope there. <laughs> Don't just jump like I did. And then stop on the second one and bring it back. And you can see the, the force echo there, obviously. Now jump across, and it's going to be a force echo, which is a secret, and force essence. Now, if you're going to fall off at this height, this is the time you're going to do it. Uh, trying to get back to the rope. Try and leave your second jump as late as possible to give you the, uh, the best chance of getting there. There we go. And then we're going to just continue on now. This is the way you would normally come. Get rid of these. And then we're going to just do a quick edit here because he fired a rocket and it knocked me off. But yeah, that's how you get that trophy as well. Slow the... Um, <clears throat> for blowing up 20 enemies with explosions. Slow a rocket trooper down. You don't really need to slow them down. It just gives you more chance to react. But basically push the rocket back back at them. Or a grenade from... Um, there are some commanders that throw grenades as well. You can do that to them. Just throw it back at them. Do that 20 times, you get the trophy. So we're just going to use editing again. I think there's another scan here. Yes, there is. But it's not needed, so I'm going to ignore it. And then we've got a Kojima-style... Rope climb, except it's not a ladder this time, it's a rope. 
So we're going to reflect upon what we're doing right now. Climb and climb and climb. And then at the top here is another meditation point and we are basically out. There's just one more puzzle with a load of things around it. Loads of chests, loads of goodies. So there's the meditation point. We're just going to cut through here and this is where the force echo is on the floor here. Again, lots of corpses. And then we're going to enter this room which is going to be a puzzle and I kind of mess it up to start with. I, I got ahead of myself here. Don't push this block to the... You want to carry on pushing it then. Don't push it this way. This is how you finish the area. So you want to power this. But you need to drop the other side. So I need to push this block back or pull it, whichever one I choose to do. So there I realise I've not done it because it usually brings down another panel. So you push it all the way to the other side. And then you're going to need to jump up this side and cut a um, power cable. So you can see it there. Cut that. And it's going to drop all of the uh, the sides down. So you can bring this block back again. I'm not even sure if this is how you solve this area, but this is how I do it. And it works, so it's fine. So you need to jump up here and then your wall run across here. And this is, you really need to save your last jump until the last minute here so you get as much distance as you can to get onto that block. And then go through this door here and we are done. There's just two guys here and there are four things in this little room now. There's one force echo you can see underneath me there. Come on, get rid of him. There we go. So we've got the force echo here and there are three chests. So this is Jedi Grave. Then the chest, first chest here is going to need slicing. Poncho material. But after you've got these, this is, we're not even done with this area yet. Even though it looks like we're out, we're not yet. So we're just going to get him to get in there. We're going to get this second one here. Which also needs slicing. You would also you would have sliced by this time. There's no need locking the uh, the crates off, and then get this last one over here. And then when you emerge um, into the light, into the open again in a minute, which you will see me do. Chromium. I'm sure that's a Magic the Gathering dragon. Anyway, uh, as you emerge here, this is where you will get the trophy. The um, visiting all the wrong places, or Alderan is actually how it's spelled. Um, that's when you'd get the trophy. But we're just going to... Don't jump down too early as well. Make sure you come over here and get this stim canister. Otherwise you have to go all the way through that area again. So that's a secret as well because they always are. And then we're going to jump down. One more thing to get. Yeah, it is down there. It's another force echo, another bit of life essence, and another secret. And that is the last part of Venator Wreckage. So weirdly, this, this collectible here is the only one you can get without going the secret way. Well, that is it. Commander was killed by a lightsaber. Next, we're moving on to Imperial Dig Site. I think there's this ice cave and then we have the last tomb and that is it, we'll be done after that <sighs> finally anyway we're exactly where we were there we go I'm just going to show you for the continuity's sake make sure you get that 100% on the maps, I'm just going to show you exactly where I'm going so I'm going to take, go down here take this lift down Put that out because we don't need to wait. So you will have been to this area before, but we're going to just go straight up. Usually you would go down to go and get the upwards. Um, yeah, that I can't remember the name. What is that movement called? Wow, uh, it's getting late here. Anyway, yep, yeah, 
shimmy down here, kill these guys, try and throw this again. I'm trying to show you this trophy again. It sort of backfires. Get rid of these guys, just push them off the edge, do what you need to. There's a commander there, so he's definitely getting pushed off. Now you can see that zip zip line. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. You can go upwards now on this zip line, but you need to drop early there. I drop probably drop too early, but you need to drop early, otherwise you'll overshoot this little platform. And then you walk through, push this, and there's gonna be a force echo here, and then in quick succession another stim canister. Captain, I think we found a way in. So if you don't have the uh, the upward zip line by this point, you can just go around the normal way and get it, because this is where you get it anyway. There we go. They're definitely going to help. So we're going to go back down. I'm going to take the same zip line we just took. I'm going to enter the dig site properly now. There's going to be another force echo we're getting this time. We're going to just blow this chunk open here. Get rid of this droid. Sneaky, sneaky. And then I'm going to drop down. There we go. And you just see through that force field, this is where you turn that force field off. But I think I just turned around to show you, but this is where you get the, the upwards zip line. There you go. If you follow it around, that's where it is in there. So we're going to take care of this purple guy. I'm watching you. Give me a fight, Jedi. Yeah, no problem. Why can't they all be that easy? Anyway, the next forced echo, force echo is just up here to the left. Easily missed. Destructive measures. A worker left their tools in a hurry. So we are creeping up on the, the trophy requirement, but I am going to keep going with the Force Echoes, and you're going to see me picking them up on the later planets as well, just in case you want to get them there. So we can go that way, but we're not going to, because we're going to get another Force Echo on the last collectible for Imperial Dig Site, which you can see on top of there. So if you double jump here, you can jump straight onto the container and pick this one up, and that is it for now for Imperial dig site. We'll We're going to take a quick detour now finally to go to Ice Cave. So this is probably the, the quickest way to get to Ice Cave but you can't see it there yet, it's not on my map yet. But that's where we just were, we just continue on, get that meditation point. You can pull this rope towards you and then you're going to swing, you want to get a big swing here and try and get as high as possible before letting go so this blows you onto that zip line and then we're going to continue around here and this is going to be another stim canister we're getting a lot of stim canisters in this area so there you can see ice caves have started already in this area is a, a bit where I'll show you as well um, some extra travelling you're going to need to do just to make sure you get that 100% uh, hollow map. So there we go. Big swings here to get across. There we go. Come on. There we go. You can see the that glowing ceiling there is a scan point as well if you want to get that. But the Joe Taz jumps out. There he is. There he comes. I didn't think he was going to come out, but he did. So quickly get rid of him. And then the Force Echo is in the cave where he's just jumped out of. See it there, up at the top. So again, we're going to just circle this area. And there are three, three different lifts. There are two different lifts. Three different lifts that we're going to take. They're going to lead us back up to other certain areas. Uh, one of which being a shortcut back to the ship. So it is one of the quickest ways to get, it's like almost like a hub world this area. If you drop down here you can get anywhere quickly on the planet. 
But uh, we're just going to push rid of, get rid of these guys. Come on. We're doing a big circle around this area. So we're going to slow down these blades here. Do a bit of wall running. And we're going to get a chest in a moment. Oh yeah, we need to take care of him. Double lightsaber. Lightsaber? Lightsaber reflecting there. Force push him. Get rid of him. And then there's the stim crate here. Or chest, should I say. And you can see the first lift on the left-hand side there. You're going to want to go up these lifts um, because the areas above them will be needed for the 100%. And two of the lifts have force echoes at the top. This one leads to crash site, I want to say. I think, yeah, this one leads to crash site. And there's a force echo there. And then we're going to go not back down the lift. We're going to use the slidey. There's a slip and slide. And each three, each three areas has a lift and then a slide. And you're going to want to go down these slides. There's another scan point as well. I do that one strangely. I don't know why. But again, it's not needed, so don't worry about that. So I've marked this as hidden area. Don't confuse that with secret area. This is just a bit needed for the map, so make sure you come down here. Don't use the lift again. And then we're going to continue around. It's pretty much where we were. That didn't go so well, did it? So, come on. Making a right mess of this. He took a lot. Yeah, that didn't work either. I was trying to grab him. Yeah, there. Grab the rocket guy. But you can see there, there's the slip and slide. And there's the other lift. I believe this is the one that doesn't have a... a uh, yeah, have put hidden area. So this is one of the ones that doesn't have... Um, anything up here. But this is the shortcut back to the ship. So if you open this door up, you'll recognise this shortcut. You can see the ship there. Right at the start. So again, you're going to want to slide down here so it, it ticks it off on your map. Make sure you definitely come down here. Timing's not great on that one. It's quite difficult if you, you can't get the timing right. But yeah, pretty much exactly where we just were. And we're going to continue round and get a chest. We're actually going to get two chests and a force echo. That took a while. How many times have I said that during this video and I still can't remember them? Um, they're all in the same room. There is a purple, there's a ram first we're going to need to take care of, but we'll just slice them up real quick. Get rid of him. And there is a purple, um, what are they called? Inquisitor? No, they're not Inquisitors. Played too much of this game, I'm starting to forget everything. You can see them there, they're fighting amongst themselves. We're just going to skip that. And they're dead. Um, and get these two chests. And there is also a scan point. It's not needed for a trophy, but it's just on the right hand side. BD will go off and try and get it in a minute. That's chest number one, which is a skin. Chest number two, which is a lightsaber material. And then there's the uh, the Force Echo here, obviously. And I think there's a scan point behind me now. Does he jump off? Yeah, so that isn't, it's not needed, so don't worry about it. And then open that up, and that will open up a shortcut. And lead us back where we started. So we've done a full loop. So that was the ice bit. Um where we fought the Jotas just ahead of us. This is the last, the third lift. This takes you back to the uh, windswept ruins. I'll show you in a moment. So we're just going to grab this four cycle at the top here. So this was the first place I mentioned, uh, the ice caves, that blue wall, that's it there. As you can see there, there you recognize it. Let's get to the tomb of Ram. Again, slide down here, make sure you tick it off. And jump and jump. The sliding is not very responsive at all in this game. I don't know why it's in it. 
pass through there. And then you have to do some more running, and it's going to drop us exactly where we were. We just need to pick one more um, chest up, which is going to where that meditation point is. Just drop down there. Takes care of some more scrazzes, of course. I don't even know they're called that. Rat things. Just push them all off the cliff. Get rid of them. And there it is. Oh no. One more. That's the other thing. There's always one more of those guys. You think you've always got them. Anyway, there's chest number 55. That is the last of the ice caves. It's all 100% done. Next is the final area of this planet, and that is the tomb of Mictrull. So go back exactly the same way we came to get back to the place where we were, to uh, the Imperial dig site. You'll recognize it in a minute. We're going to show you the long way round, because the short way round is completely blocked off. I have tried to get into the tomb the short way round, but it's blocked off. It's the way you go to the story. Through the story, uh, there's a little boss fight down there. You cannot go that way at all. It's blocked off. You would normally go down the lift here, but you can't. Once you get down there, there's a force field, and if even if you go from the other side, you can't turn the force field off um, because you can't get up. There's a, a slide, so you can't get up there. It's completely blocked off. You have to go to that. You're going to recognize it in a minute. So we're going to get up that lift. If this lift isn't active for you as a shortcut, you're going to have to go the long way, I'm afraid. But you will notice it in a moment. It's where we went the long way to get that crate. But I cut it out here. Um, I'll just show you the crate in case you've skipped. And you will just want reminding. I'll show you where it is. There it is. And that is the tomb entrance ahead of us. And we're going to get Force Echo number 53 as soon as we drop out. So again, we are coming back to this place. Um, I'm presuming you have done all this, and it, I would advise you do all this. This will all be open to you already. You've already been here, so you can quickly go and grab everything and just get everything done. So there's the first Force Echo. That gate will be locked off if you haven't been here before, and you will have to go the long way around. This is the where you would come normally. You probably have this scan yeah. because BD stops here. I believe there are some vines or something you have to burn down. Um, but that is encrypted log number eight. I'm going to go up and get a chest. This is the way you would come through this tomb. Um, into the main room here. But we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to hook round and take on another tomb guardian so yeah they're different for each tomb you have to either force pull or force push these ones are force pull force push doesn't work on them at all but there you can see we have another chest and then next to it is a, another force echo and just off to the right if you were to drop down is how you would get to the other entrance but it, if you try going that way, yeah, it, you just can't get down there. Well, you can get down there, but you can't get through because there is a slope. So you just can't get through. I have tried, but unfortunately, you have to go the long way around. So next is a, another Force Echo. Um, this is going to be in the main room. So this is where, the, the, where you drop that glass um, case where the ball is suspended in the air. I'm going to go through here, there's a bit of a puzzle in a minute. Um, pull the fireball towards you. They're in there behind there, if you pull it towards you, it's going to take these vines out for you, and it's going to show you this um, force echo. And then once you have done that, we're going to want to grab another one of these flame cans, candles, whatever you want to call them. Um, and we're going to drop it. No, nope, I'm not going to do it first. Yep, yeah, that's right. Do this first, because then you have to drop it anyway. Do it either way. doesn't matter. You need to bring that gate up. Um, kill these enemies. That's why I did it first. Because there's a more scrazzes or whatever they are, of course. Clear all these out. You need to clear these guys out this time, I'm afraid. And then you're going to want to grab another uh, flame ball. 
candle, whatever it is. Don't throw it though. You're going to want to just drop it close to where this gate is, sort of where these rocks are. Now you want to shut the gate. Try and pull the rope so it shuts. Don't worry, you're not locked in because there is a vine here. If the gate was still open, you wouldn't be able to look through this uh, this bit at the top here, but you can just grab this candle now uh, and throw it at these vines to burn them down. And at the top of this area is another Force Echo, which is also Force Essence and Secret Number 19. So we're getting there now. Get in there now. Just a few more in this area and we are nearly done. Unfortunately, there's another three planets after this, but we're nearly done with this. This is definitely the longest one. So you're going to need to climb back up because we are locked in. And then in this main area, you're going to go around in the big semicircle to the other side and break the wall down. And there we go. And in here is a crate, or chest, sorry. And then BD1 there, you can see him. He's looking up at the wall. That is another encrypted log. One we do need, so make sure to scan this one. There we go, encrypted log number nine. So if the guy talks like he does here, Eno Cordova, these, this is one of the ones you need for the trophy. The rest, just forget about them. Unless you want them all, that's up to you. But they're not needed, so don't worry about them. More bounty hunters. Take care of those quickly. And then we're going to be getting another secret. Another life essence. It's quite a long way away, actually. I just think about, should I get this one first here? But I choose not to. There is one over there. We're going to get that later. Along with the chest just to the right of us then. But it's quicker just to come this way. And get it all done in a big circle. But you will recognise this area. It's where the big um, magnetised plinths are. Yeah, don't do that. Do that instead. Jump on over. More scras, more explodey bulb things. And then you'll recognise this puzzle in a minute. There we go. So you're going to want to turn it back on again here. You need to go sort of three quarters of the way, wa way, wa way wound. That wasn't very good, was it? Way round. Um, get rid of all these things out of your way. They're just annoying. You probably saw this one um, as you went around there the first time, but you couldn't do it because you need force pull. Force push doesn't work here. Although you do need it, you need to force pull the uh, the exploding bulb thing first. If you just push it, it'll blow up on the, on the ground before it hits your target, which is a wall you need to break. It'll all make sense in a minute. Just trying to fill the dead air. <laughs> Bit of a glitchy jump there. It's a pretty smooth running game, apart from a few little glitchy jumps there and an awful lot of uh, texture popping. On the PS4 especially. I don't know how it is on other things, but I did notice quite a lot. It's probably something that will get patched out. Hopefully. But for me at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm done. <laughs> But yeah, here, jump over here. You can see this one. You could try and push it, but uh, it would just blow up on the thing in front. You need to pull it up and then push it. And that will lead you to the Force Echo, which is also Life Essence and Secret Number 20. And I believe that is the final secret for this planet. So we need to go... Um, Use the uh, magnets again to get back out. It's just a normal way that you would slow this one down so you can jump on it. 
we'll just go in the normal way we would get out and we're gonna go and get that chest that was uh, behind the vines um, yeah that went well we're gonna use a, a flame candle ball just need to take care of this flame guy while he takes care of those I'll let him do that first there he's doing that one get him while he does it done now we'll leave this area Uppity uppity up. Come on. Come on. There we go. So this is the first place you would come to uh, to get into this tomb in the story way anyway. And then you turn this magnet off, I believe. You would turn it off, and then we need it again. And then you throw it down, and that gets that chest. Can't carry them around. There's lots of water everywhere, so. You have to throw it from up there. There you can see the water blocking your way. But yep, grab that chest. And then straight ahead of us is going to be another Force Echo. The one I sort of thought about before that changed my mind. Thought we'd do it this, this way around. Need to grab the vine. Jump across. Wall run. Big jump. And across. So we are creeping up to the end here at this point. There's just one super secret uh, area to left now. It's uh, right at the top, unfortunately. It always is. <laughs> They're not going to put a super secret area right in front of you, are they? So we need to go right to the top of the main area where the, bulb, the, the ball is suspended in glass. But obviously we've done this, or I've done this, and you should have done this too. So you need to do the... Uh, grab the ropes to swing around there we go and then we've got the uh, the purple trooper I forget the names purge trooper there we go it saved by the um, text so yeah there's a bunch of these guys try and clear them out so I can sort of show you what we're doing there's a rope up here suspended above so you need to pull it towards you and then you're able to uh, swing to the next one and into this super secret area so this is probably a place you were missing for the 100% but there is also a chest here as well so obviously we are going to be doing some more vine flaming so just grab a ball from the left throw it to the right get rid of that one that's easily done the not so easy one is the one in a minute uh, but first we need to jump across grab one of these and there's some more vines over there you can see that's going to turn off the magnet that's in front of the um, the the main uh, statue or head or what I'll show you in a minute you'll make sense this up here to the go on look up there you go nearly made it anyway grab one of these that up there that head you need to push a uh, one of these fireballs through its mouth uh, you couldn't do it before because there was a magnet in the way but once you're able to do that it might take you a few shots but you've got infinite amounts of candles so it'll be fine and that's it that is the last um, the last chest is the last everything that should be 100% I'm going to show you a map in a minute so you can see everything is ticked off so if you went exactly the same way I did, yours will be too. Everything is done. Lovely stuff. Next, we on to Kashyyyk for the third video in the series. So I hopefully see you there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.